Hi and welcome to Take Time to Create. Today we're going to make this beautiful bottle that can hold some bath salts. This makes a great gift or it makes something great to sell at craft fairs. So we're going to go ahead and make one of these today. This one I did in purples and burlap colored and off-white because I'm using lavender bath salt. But we're going to make a different... For this next empty bottle, what we're going to do is we're going to use vanilla scented bath salts. And I just picked up this beautiful bottle and it says Iceland on it and it has a little cork here. Make sure when you have a bottle that you clean it out thoroughly. Wash it, let it dry. It's hard to get a rag down here, but let it air dry until it's completely clean because you don't want to contaminate your bath salts with something weird. And this is a glass bottle and you want something that has a lid on it. So lots of different options. This one actually is a pretty big one, but there are uh, smaller ones. This one will take almost two of these bath salts and this is 17.6 ounces it'll take almost two of these to fill it up so there are lots of choices you can do but this is a great gift to start it out I'm going to wrap some burlap around the middle let me show you this one has burlap wrapped around the middle and then I took some lace wrapped around the bottom and the top I'm going to do something similar but not exactly like that. Why do we want anything the same? We want to have a lot of variety here. So we're going to wrap it around and wherever your seam is, that's where you're going to put flowers. And use hot glue, but be very careful that you don't burn yourself. And you want to take the burlap, wrap it around just like that. And this is just burlap ribbon I think I got at the dollar store lots of options there now if you want you can put just a tiny bit of glue in the middle to tack it down just a tiny bit so it doesn't sway all over and all the way around and I'm just going to put a little bit of glue hold that now for this one, I didn't use one giant focal point for flowers. I just used a variety of flowers. And I made a leading eye all the way up the top to the neck. This one, I'm actually going to use a focal point. I'm going to use one large flower and add little flowers around it. So since that's going to be the case, I'm going to take more of this lace ribbon from the dollar store and I'm going to wrap it along the top and the bottom just like that and I think we'll do another row at the bottom all right so we're wrapping up the second row just like this there we go now we have two rows of lace and burlap so pretty all right now what you're going to do is find something to put in the center or a lot to have the leading lines this is when I had my stash I don't remember the brand I am sorry it would either be recollections or Prima those are the two brands I use the most of just put a blob of hot glue and stick it there in the middle if I can find out which one this is, I'll leave an affiliate link down below if I can dig it up. It's one of the two, like I said, but I'm not sure. So that's very pretty. Now you can leave it just like this. It looks gorgeous, very classy, very pretty. Absolutely. I never leave anything alone. I like lots of stuff. I found these and these are Craft Smart found them at Michael's very pretty they have some letters I've got some plain ones so I'm going to use these as accent flowers and I'm just going to stick some accent flowers up and around to draw your eye up to the top start down here add some and then we're going to add a few more as we go to draw our eye up nestle them in tuck them into each other it has a nice look to it and these are great gifts because you can refill them too so after the recipient 
gets it and they've used all the bath salts, then they can always refill it with bath salts or they can re-gift it to somebody else, which I do love a gift that can keep on giving. All right, keep on going. Add more. I'm going to add this one up here at the top. I'm going to nestle that little guy in there. All right, this one is going to go down here. So we've kind of got our eyes zigzagging up and around. And we'll stick a little one up here. So there we go. That is with the flowers. Oh, that looks so pretty. Now this one I also took and I put in some pretty beads that I had just to add a little bit more to tuck in. And I have some more of those and I'm just going to use the off-white ones and they're just these really pretty little beads that I found online. Probably on Wish, maybe. Not sure. <laughs> If I can find a link, I will. That's the problem. When you use things out of your stash, it's hard to remember where you get them, but I like to use my stash because I like to use up what I have. I mean, I bought it for a reason, right? I bought it because I liked it and I wanted to use it. I always encourage you to use up what you have in your stash. I also encourage you to look around for sales, for deals, and you can put buttons on this, beads. Uh, you can use just little found objects, all kinds of things. You don't have to use what I'm using. Just make your jar nice and pretty and just fill it with all kinds of goodies. And that's the whole idea. All right, stick that little guy in there. And I'm going to put one more right in there if I can find one. Okay, there we have it, just like that. Now what I'm going to do is fill it up. So how we fill it up, take a funnel, <laughs> that's hard to see, just like that. So I'm just going to take a funnel and I'm going to fill it up and then I will be right back. All right, so now I have it all filled up with the vanilla bath salts and I have to say, what a great gift. But now we need to put the instructions on it and because that's imperative that people know how to use the bath salts and uh, everything's a little different. So what I do is on these that I already have uh, ready to go, you can sometimes cut them off, but this one is pretty great because I can just slide my scissors in and just loosen up the sticker because it's just a sticker on there and I'm just going to gently peel it off. I gently peeled the sticker off and I don't need the barcode so I'm going to cut it right above the barcode and look around for bottles. I found mine at Who Gives a Scrap. You never know where you're going to find a bottle that'll work. Just make sure it has a lid on it and then just decorate it and fill it up. All kinds of goodies to do with it. All right, so now I have the instructions and it's on a sticker and I'm just taking a scrap piece of paper and I'm going to firmly press it on the scrap piece of paper. Then I have some decorative scissors. You guys remember these? Do you ever use your decorative scissors anymore? I hardly ever use mine, hardly at all. But this is a perfect opportunity to use your decorative scissors. Just fancy cut around. If you don't have decorative scissors, regular scissors are fine. If you have a die cut, that's fine too. I don't always have a die cut. Just like that, since there's no identifying the scent, it just has the directions, just bath soak, and it tells you how much to do with it. So what I'm go going to do is take a pin, and I'm just going to write vanilla on the top. My handwriting's not the best. Oh, that's okay. If you want, you can always type up the instructions, and that's always perfectly acceptable, but since I like to take the easy way for most things, I decided just to handwrite it. All right, so what we're going to do is do the lavender one because it's already ready to go. I punched a little hole on this side so that we can flip it over and now it makes a tag. And we're just going to go like this. And I just have a pretty piece of ribbon that I had in my stash. No idea where this came from, but cut a little bit off, thread it through. And now it has a little tag on it and it's a perfect gift tag for people too so they can put to and from on there and it will work out perfectly and now you have some really great gifts to give. 
going to leave it so there's a little bit of extra. I like to have a little bit hanging down so it looks pretty. Just like that, you have a tag and now you have the instructions as well. So that's how you make a bath salt gift bottle to give or to sell at craft fairs or whatever you want to do with it. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. You can find me on Instagram, Facebook, and on my blog. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.